Hey everybody, in this video I'll be sharing a demonstration called Elephant Toothpaste. It is a really cool reaction and one of my favorites to share with students. I mean, look at all the bubbles. Let's take a closer look at the demo and I'll explain how enzymes make it work. The materials needed for this demo include warm water, dish detergent, an empty water bottle, hydrogen peroxide, I'm using a stronger version you can buy at salon supply stores, baker's yeast, and food coloring. In the reaction used in this demo, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, is broken down to produce oxygen gas. To understand the demo better, let's take a look at a similar reaction using hydrogen peroxide and manganese 4 oxide, which is commonly called manganese dioxide. The manganese 4 oxide is a black powder being added to the peroxide. The resulting process is called a decomposition reaction because the hydrogen peroxide is broken down to make water and oxygen. Here you can see the black manganese dioxide at the top of the liquid and can notice the formation of bubbles. Swirling the flask will increase the collision rate between particles and speed up the process significantly. You can see the rate of bubbles formation really picking up. A wood splint test can be done to prove that oxygen gas is being made by the reaction. Once the reaction is going, there is a high concentration of oxygen in the upper part of the flask. This causes the piece of wood with the glowing ember to reignite and start burning again. The driving force of this reaction is the addition of the MnO2, which is a catalyst. All reactions have activation energy, or required startup energy. Catalysts work by lowering the required activation energy, which makes the reaction happen more easily and more quickly. Elephant toothpaste uses enzymes, which are protein molecules that can catalyze a chemical reaction. The enzyme being used is catalase. This enzyme is found in almost all living organisms and serves to prevent oxidative damage caused by oxygen-containing molecules. Here we see the reaction of the peroxide being activated by the catalase enzyme present in baker's yeast. I hope you found the video interesting and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me below. Thank you for watching, everyone.